before I cut one of these open and review one of these peppers, I just want to give everyone an update on the pepper reviews here on Brent Eats Heat. I got my last box of peppers from Jason Beard. A box, a huge box from Clayton Hollingsworth out of Georgia. They're both in my freezer. That way I have peppers to review all winter long. When everyone else is out, there's going to be nothing but pepper reviews. Guys, what's up and welcome back to another mm, not so luxurious episode of Brittany Eats Eat. Very first company that ever sent me peppers. Blue Ridge Pepper Patch. Blue Ridge Pepper Patch is the first company that's ever sent me peppers. The first box I got from them, all I had to do was pay the shipping. They sent me the peppers for free. And then the second box they sent me, uh, I didn't pay for the peppers or the shipping. They just sent it to me. Uh, kind of like they did with this box. So, Blue Ridge Pepper Patch has a special place in my heart. Let's get this box cut open and see what they sent me. Hope you are well. I added extra Ahi Fantasy and Serrano in case you wanted to use them in a recipe. We've also started... Carrying spicy products on our website this year. Things like hot honey, spicy salts, and hot mustard. Ahi Fantasy Pepper Schofield Heat Units. 5,000 to 10,000 Scoville Heat Units. According to Baker Creek Seeds, this pepper was bred in Finland over five years. The result is two inch, translucent yellow bonnet shaped peppers with medium mild heat, 5,000 to 10,000 Scoville heat units, and lots of tropical sweetness. A very approachable little pepper that is great when eaten out of hand in the garden or when used in cooking. Or on a YouTube channel called Brent Eats Heat. Let's get this pepper cut open to see what the inside looks like. Wow. Wow. So what this pepper's lacking in Scoville heat units, it more than makes up for in flavor. Like a sweet, like an orange, or sweet, like a strawberry type sweet going on here. My heat's not even at a one. My heat's at probably like a 0 0.2. I, there's literally no heat here, guys. A non-chili head could eat this pepper and maybe be okay. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please show me by hitting that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate your subscription. And until next time, I love each and every one of you.